legend has it documented that the journey of leadership is pervaded by battles, obstacles and temptations that could alter the performance of even the most confident and competent of individuals or leaders. In Niger State, the journey of its leaders and the state to greatness has taken a great toll. However, despite these challenges, the state has continued to prevail, rising over the ashes of its travails. In the course of its 46-year surgeon, a number of leaders have piloted the affairs of the state, made sacrifices, and contributed tremendously to its growth and development, to the attestation of the rest of the country and indeed the world. From 1976 till date, military administrators and civilian governors of Niger State performed remarkably given the political peculiarity and difficulties of the era. One of such leaders that has made the state stand out is His Excellency, Governor Abubakar Sani Bello, a seasoned economist and entrepreneur. Governor Bello is one of the few good leaders that has etched his qualities in the annals of administrative effectiveness, both in the public and private sectors. One of his major areas of focus is the agriculture sector, which he made a priority to reposition. Harping on the natural agricultural endowment of the state, Governor Sanni Bello reached out to farmers as partners in progress and provided regular farm inputs to them. He also purchased and distributed tractors to farming households and farmer clusters to enhance their productivity and output. The state government, under the leadership of Governor Sanni Bello, also initiated partnerships with foreign investors in the area of sugar and rice production. The federal and Niger state governments have several synergistic, agro-based programs running with remarkable successes recorded. Under the administration of Governor Sanni Bello, Niger state is a front-runner as far as the livestock subsector is concerned. Governor Abubakar Sani Bello, an inspirational leader, has made great successes that has attracted global recognition and respect for Niger State through these outstanding achievements. Governor Sani Bello, as a people-oriented leader, pursued high-performance targets for social infrastructure, broadening access across the three senatorial districts of Niger State. He also identified human and material shortfalls in the water supply system across urban and semi-urban locations and stimulated a comprehensive overall of the system. In the health sector, infrastructure deficit received depth attention through construction and rejuvenation of alien structures and remodeling of healthcare facilities. Governor Bello's success story cannot be chronicled without a clear mention of his better half, Her Excellency, the First Lady, Dr. Amina Abubakar Bello. The First Lady of the State, being a career medical practitioner, an obstetrician gynecologist with a master's degree in public health, has been in the forefront of fostering effective health care in the state. Dr. Amina Bello, as an advocate of reproductive health rights of women, made tremendous contributions to the sector. Progressive governance through a visible intervention has also been noticeable in the governor's holistic approach to overhauling the education sector. In the transportation sector, the state government-owned transport authority, NSTA, received 64 high- and medium-capacity buses to ease intra- and interstate transit services. The state has also extended the operational effectiveness of the state fire service and the state governor equally attracted the establishment of Zone H headquarters in Mina, the state capital. Pervaded by banditry, kidnapping and other violent crimes. Niger State, under Governor Sani Bello, employed kinetic and non-kinetic strategies to subdue criminality. Yeah. 
the shape of Niger State, dubbed the Power State, under the administration of Governor Abubakar Sanibello, has continued to sail smoothly with a steady trajectory towards achieving its vision of being the greatest in Nigeria, a beneficial cause for the people of the state.